Welcome back to the Dan Cam YouTube. Here we are. <laughs> oh, here we are. Uh, going to get another race car. Uh, maybe we'll be back at you shortly. But uh, let's uh, stay tuned, see what's in store for this episode on the Dan Cam. All right, so here we are. We got a hotel, uh, heading back down south. We got that green thing in the trailer. New car coming out, gonna be Earth. Can I do that? 77 Vega, gonna be a twin LS uh, type setup. Uh, long travels up front, all the good stuff uh, we're gonna put on it. When you want to it's that woo woo. You know, basic race car stuff, in and out, but it needs to be cleaned up. All right, just gonna make it look pretty. Might throw some carpet in here, street car class. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, a few things here and there that need to be cleaned up, fixed. Uh, basically everything, powertrain wiring, all that stuff needs to be done to it. All right, here we go. Goal today was to clean her up. Disregard this little guy. Gotta do some touch up work. Had a little uh, problems in the trailer on the way home, unfortunately. Cleans up real nice. <clears throat> Back glass, all clean. Looking good. A little bit of turbo kit right there. There it is though, that's the setup for the time being. All right, let's go one more time. Got her shined up. Shoo, buddy. Look at that. Bling, 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 blow. Mm, mm, mm. Camera's all here. What is up, Dan Cam? We are back on the road, going to pick up some parts for the car. Said I wasn't gonna really get into anything uh, this soon before we move, but I have a bad problem. I have a problem with uh, self-control. I have a problem with waiting patience so we're going to get something stay tuned 
All right, so. All right, so we're headed over to AJ's. He's got. that I want to pick up. Uh, definitely said I wasn't going to get anything until we move, but, you know, I just sit on stuff and keep thinking about it, thinking about it. I got to get a little something. So, I'm going to go pick something up here. And, uh, not very big, but a big part of the car. So, let's see what we got. I think uh, over the past couple weeks, actually within the last week and a half, probably done about 40 hours of driving, which probably ain't a lot for, you know, some people, but man, I don't drive that much in a week. That's a lot. Uh, Tennessee and back, went to check out a car out there. Uh, there was some stuff that happened with that that I didn't like. Didn't, didn't give me a warm and fuzzy. Didn't feel comfortable uh, getting that vehicle. And um, the Vega popped back up and I had to decide, I decided to get it. Um, so after going to Tennessee and back, then we went to uh, just north of New York City, a uh, small town up there and probably about 10 hours away picked up the car and head on back down so now uh, getting it cleaned up getting everything right gonna sand down some of the roll cage um, some of the uh, two front end respray it kind of make it look uh, a little freshened up it's already nice you know but yeah just uh, gonna make it clean it all up get it ready not sure if I want to um, throw carpet in it. It's not really going to be a street car, but every once in a while, I might be able to take it out. It's uh, titled and everything, so I'm, I'm contemplating putting it on E85 instead of methanol because uh, it's, it's a really light car. I don't need a bunch of power to achieve the same thing. Now, if I go back on E85, that's going to add some more weight to it. Kind of up in the air. I don't know. That Holly uh, intake with the uh, with the tick intercooler on the top mount. I think it's pretty heavy, actually. And to be sitting on the front of the car for, for what I want to do with it, you know, it's kind of kind of takes away from it a little bit. But it's already super light, so it shouldn't matter too much. We'll see. Or I could go back with the methanol uh, with the single plane intake. Uh, cold side's already set up for that. So that would be the easiest route. But then I'm not driving on the street at all. So kind of in between right now. Don't know exactly what I want to do. Uh, we're going to figure it out though. It's been 84 years. All right, well back and just got this thing out of the back of the truck man i'm getting too old to be lifting motors uh by myself out of uh the back of the truck did i say that motor yep just uh one of those old junkyard five three aluminum blocks so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go uh I'm, i'll be honest probably just gonna start it out old stock bottom in uh, aluminum block mm, probably do the e85 deal to start off with and uh, see where we're at from there but uh yeah i don't know i might even i might not even get the rings in this thing i might just send it dude uh thinking about uh throwing some heads on there actually some stock heads and just let it Throw some boost at it, a little bit of boost, and uh, see what we got. It's light enough. No, 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 no. We should uh, not have any issues uh, getting down the track pretty quickly. So, we'll see. Um, obviously, shooting for next spring, but I already said I don't have patience. So, we'll, 
we'll see how that how that works out. It might be uh, February. Who knows? Yep, but that's it, though. But yeah, so the engine is pretty, you know, it's a junkyard looking motor, so pretty dirty. I'm going to give it a once over, uh, and then I'll hit it with my favorite, uh, I'm probably get uh, some crap for this, but we're gonna throw some WD-40 all over it because it ain't getting used for a while. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, motor stuff, look at that. Oh, engine stuff right there. It's so good. You just make it, you basically just spray WD-40 all over this thing and it makes it brand new. Brand new. Oh man, it's brand new. It's brand new now. We're all golden. Oh, where'd those come from? Oh, did I say that uh, I was just gonna throw some stock heads on there? That's right. Yeah, we'll just throw WD-40 all over these too. Cause why not? Because why not? Yeah. 